Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. I could have your attention, please. Sure. Uh, first, on behalf of Ms. Cooper, I would like to apologize to you about this presentation. And I want to welcome you. Three weeks ago, we went to the university center, as you know, and we had to ask some people, some strange people that we never met, some personal questions. Because uh, Ms. Cooper pushed us to do it. Anyway, the first guy I met, his name I think is Brian Clark. <laughs> And uh, he is a white Protestant American. And I asked him, what was the most uh, amazing moment in your life? The happiest moment. He said his happiest moment when uh, President Barack Obama won the election as the first Afro-American uh, president in the United States four years ago. I asked him, what is your, uh, let me check. What was your wish, your worst date you have? He said, with well, a girl, looks like Nancy Lohan. I'm not here to judge. And uh, his biggest obstacle, of course, was uh, to find a good college three years ago. And his, this is his uh, last senior years in the United States. And the worst, uh, the most uh, embarrassing things, I think, was the interview that I had with him. So, at the last of this interview, I asked him to sign. And he said to me, literally, get out from my face, you're freaking Arabic. Oh my God. I'm, not, uh, I'm not here to judge it. Of course, I'm a freak, I'm a freak. But how does he know that I am Arabic? Anyway, I was uh, disappointed. I wanted to go outside from this UCI, and Miss Cooper found me. She ca caught me and pushed me to two girls. <laughs> she said to me, don't be shy, talk to them. And I did. First one uh, named uh, Sarah Bahrani. She said uh, she's from Iran originally. And uh, she had a uh, roommate, the girl with her, named Kira uh, Rima Kakti. Uh, she said her most embarrassing moment was when she had an interview at Ralph Lauren. At the end of the interview, she walked out without saying goodbye to them. And uh, her best moment when she saw her own uh, original country for the first time in her life. Uh, for the first time, of course. Worst date was uh, waiting two hours at the bar, and the guys never showed up. <coughs> uh, for Rima Kakti, she said the most obstacle things that she faced was to admit it in her own for the first time in her life. She had to work like in eight hours a day as a part-time job. Can you imagine this? And after uh, that, life became easier for her. And she had a crush on someone in his work, in her work, I'm sorry. And uh, he finally asked her out in the bar. So she didn't have enough money to buy new earrings. So she stole the earrings from her own mate. And she wore the earrings and went to the bar. And when, we, we, when she went to the bar, she found her roommate waiting for the guys that never showed up. And she, her roommate found out that she stole her, the earrings. And this was the most embarrassing things that she ever had. Uh, may, perhaps a few days later, she, uh, her uh, roommate forgave her and that was her most uh, happiest moment in her life. Uh, from this, uh, this experience, I have learned a lot of things. Of course, I don't like to do it again, and I would like uh, to stay here, not to ask uh, any people some private questions, but I have learned that American societies are open mind and like to change, and this is maybe one of the reasons that Barack Obama won the election four years ago and became the, fourth, uh, the 44th president of the United States, uh, I admire uh, how people here in the United States can depend on themselves uh, right away after they graduate from high school. Uh, I learned from American society uh, that uh, they accept the others no matter what, no matter your religion, your uh, country, your nationality, your language. This is what I like in the United States and I hope I continue like this way to become the first and the biggest country in the world. Thank you.